This weekend, we're back in Gunma to ride and race bikes again. On Friday after work, we drove from Ishikawa Prefecture over to the city of Joetsu. Then on Saturday morning, we finished the drive to Minakami in Gunma Prefecture. So we're back at the Cycle Sports Center, and it's about 10.30 in the morning, so Zeb's getting ready to go pre-ride, and then his race is at noonish, and we're gonna go ride around Gunma. He's getting ready. We were back at the Gunma Cycle Sports Center for another of Zeb's Japan Bicyclist Club Federation races, JBCF. It was the same course as the last time he raced here, but in the reverse direction. And Annie is being a very nice wife. She's about to pin my number on. He acts like I never do anything nice for him. I do not. <laughs> I was just pointing out that you're being very nice. Thank you. And pinning my number. So we're gonna do this and then I'm gonna go um, warm up. All right, so I'm just gonna go race and we're gonna go ride a new route around Gunma, different from the last time we were here. So while Zeb races, we're going to go on a 50 or so mile ride around 82 kilometers to see some different parts of Gunma. The route is linked below, but I accidentally forgot to press record during the long descent down from the Cycle Sports Center, so that's why it looks like it's less than 50 miles. I saw this cool shrine area from the road and stopped to admire it. The ropes that you pass under when you go through a tori gate are called Shimanawa, and they're used to mark the boundary to the sacred world. I got off my bike to look around a bit. Back on my bike, I'm continuing the ride, and this area that we're in is the central northern part of Gunma Prefecture, one of only eight landlocked prefectures in Japan. Gunma is actually the geographical center of the country. It's really mountainous here and known for its many onsen, or hot springs. We're staying in the Shima Onsen tonight, actually, a little southwest of the Cycle Sports Center. The first place I wanted to stop was the Tanashita Fudo Falls in Shibukawa City. It's designated as one of the top 100 waterfalls in Japan, and it's unique because you can walk behind the 37 meter long cascade. So we're still at the beginning of our ride in Gunma, but we're gonna go see if we can make a little detour to see a waterfall. But this guy looks like he's guarding the way, but I think he'll let us pass. <laughs> this scary looking statue is actually the Japanese Buddhist deity, Fudo Myo, or Immovable One. He's the central one of the five Myo, or the Lords of Light. He looks scary, but his wrath is actually against evil, so he's like a protector, and he'll often be seen in caves or by waterfalls. It was a steep but short walk up, and I left my bike here at the temple so that I could walk up to the falls. The trail was well maintained, and the waterfall was really impressive. On the way down, there is a really pretty view of this bend in the Tone River. Back on the road, we were going back up the other side of the Tone River until it split onto the Kadashina River. agriculture out here and this is nearing the top of the climb that's in the middle of the route after passing through a bunch of fields and looping back along the Kadashina River I rode through the town of Numata before heading back towards Minakami miles left. But we're gonna stop at this flower field. Did you hear that Uguisu bird? We're gonna stop at this flower field and hopefully see some pretty flowers. 
I saw the Agano Flower Garden on the map, which is just off Road 17 on the way back to the Cycle Sports Center. The photos had really pretty flowers and these bright pink bushes that look kind of like the tops of truffle trees in Dr. Seuss books, but unfortunately there weren't any flowers. This was mid-June, so I don't know why, but maybe in the future if you go by there, they'll have a bunch of flowers again. We made it to the base of the last climb, thank goodness, and I think we're going to beat the rain, so that's great. <laughs> Right at the bottom of this climb, before you turn onto it, there's a park with a public bathroom, which was really nice because I actually ran out of water. So I could refill my bottle right before this last climb. So we're almost there. That night we were staying in Shima and we stopped in Nakanojo to get some dinner. You can get the shrimp and mayonnaise. You mean ensalada? There's one that's just wiener and mayonnaise. Yeah. There are a lot of things I love about Japanese food, but pizza always seems to be something that we miss and crave from back home. The onsen hotel we stayed at was really modern and nice, and we were most excited to try out the bath. It was a rainy weekend and not very busy, so I actually had the whole bath to myself. The hotel had this really cool art exhibit in the front as well. The next morning, Zeb's race wasn't until the afternoon, so we spent the morning exploring Shima. We're going to see the very blue lake. And it's true, the water is very blue. I don't know why. Look at it. Wow. There's some nice misty mountains over there. Yeah, it's pretty back here. One article I read said that the blue color is from alophane particles in the water, or volcanic ash and they scatter light and make it appear even more vibrant. Shima comes from Shimon, or 40,000, which is how many illnesses the mineral-rich spring water is supposed to cure. From there, we drove into the central town to park and walk around. And you could see the steam from the hot spring water coming out from the grates. One of the most famous bathhouses in this area is the Seikizinkan, a ryokan that's over 300 years old with a Taisho-era Roman-style indoor bath. It's said that the Red Bridge inspired the bathhouse in Miyazaki's famous Spirited Away movie. Finally, we stopped in the lower town on our way to the race, and we got some coffee. We tried to fill up our bottles with spring water too, but unfortunately it was under repair. We were trying to get some spring water from the public spring, but it's under adjustment. See? It's okay. At least we have coffee. People are just gonna think that we just reuse the same footage all the time. Yeah. Every time there's shots. a race video, it's like me in the rain getting ready for a race. The weather definitely wasn't ideal for racing, but Zeb was able to get it on video this time, so you can see just how fast they're going. He did great despite the rain. after the race, but on the drive back to Ishikawa, we passed through Niigata Prefecture, so I have one more thing to show you. This footage is actually from our previous weekend trip to Gunma, but we drove through the same area this time too. We passed through the town of Tokomachi to see the old Sanada Elementary School in Hachi Village, which is now transformed into a walkthrough museum by picture book artist Seizo Tashima. The school is tucked in the mountains of Niigata Prefecture, and unfortunately, they didn't have enough students to stay open. However, rather than see the building stop being used, Seizo Tashima transformed it into a museum instead, and his exhibit is called The School Will Never Become Empty. The whole place was so creative and whimsical. 
Upstairs, when you pedaled the bikes, the puppet's hand moved and played instruments, which was our favorite part. This room was a tribute to the last three students at the school, named Yuki, Yuta, and Kenta. Every room had different art in it, and I didn't want to show you everything, because when you go, that way you'll be pleasantly surprised. It's definitely a place that you have to see in person. It was 800 yen for adults to enter, and totally worth it. And there was also a really nice cafe where we got some drinks before finishing the drive back. There are actually a lot of outdoor art exhibits in this town, so I think it's worth the trip to the area. So that wraps up our second Gunma Prefecture trip so far, plus a little detour in Niigata. Thanks for joining me this weekend. I hope to see you in the next video.